Today we're going to be kitting up the diamond painting that I unboxed recently, the Pokemon kit. So everything on the table that you can see we'll be using to kit up. We've got the diamonds, we've got stickers, a tray, the storage, some scissors, a pen and the list for the colours. Welcome to Stone Magpie and I hope that you enjoy this video. Everyone has their own way of kitting up it seems and this is the way that I do it. I pretty much ignore the legend on the side if I've got one of these sheets. If I don't have that, then I just look at the symbols and try and put them into some sort of order. Today, I'm going to be using the inventory sheet because I do find them really useful. So looking at the symbols here, we've got numbers, which then go into capital letters and lowercase letters. So I am going to sort out my storage so that they are all together. What I've done, I've worked out that with capital letters and lowercase letters, it will fill this storage tray. So I've got some extras to do the numbers. So I'll put those aside for now and have a closer look at the stickers. Now with these stickers, I like mine to fit really nicely on the top of my boxes. So I'm going to cut these stickers in half. And not only that, but it gives us extra stickers to play with if you half them. Okay. I'm just going to move the diamond painting from underneath so that I'm not writing on the canvas. I'll move that out of the way. That's better. Okay, so we're starting at the top with the symbols and the first symbol is zero. Now I have had a little look to make sure there isn't an O as well in the letters and luckily they've thought about that and left it out. So that's good news. So next I'm going to write all of the numbers. That's filled that sheet. And then moving on to the capital letters. Again, cut the next row in half. and continue. And that's all of our stickers completed for this kit. Right, the next thing that I do is stick the stickers on the storage boxes. And nice that they're capital letters because they will run in order. So I'm going to use this storage for the letters. So I'm just going to stick them in order on these trays. Now, if you're using the Tic Tac boxes, you don't have to be as precise because they're not joined together. Whereas these ones are joined, so I want to make sure they're in a nice order. The Tic Tac boxes, you can swap about quite easily. So it's not as important. Of course, if your kit is all random symbols, then you won't need them in a particular order either. a bit wrong I missed these two out J K H J K right let's swap those 
don't know how I missed those two. J, K. <laughs> An easy fix. So easy to sort out if you do do something wrong. I did that on purpose, of course, to show you. <laughs> Another thing I should also mention is that before even sticking these on, I do check where the openings are to make sure they're all going the same way so that I'm not, I've not got any upside down, etc. So. That's an important little tip there for you too. And all of the letters fit nicely into this storage box. So, all the letters are now complete and we'll go on to the numbers. I have got more of these storage containers, but I'm using them on another kit at the moment. So I'm using these three loose ones for the numbers and they can just sit next to it. It doesn't matter that it's not in a box. Just check, yep, making sure that they are on the correct opening side. And there we have the numbers done, okay. That's the storage stickers on. Let's start filling them up with the diamonds. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this bit because when I did the unboxing, these diamonds looked fabulous. So I'm hoping that um, every packet I open is very sparkly and gorgeous and the colors are ooh, lovely. Right, might be a little bit of crinkling while I sort these diamonds out. So we're looking for number 152. Here we are. It looks like these diamonds are not in any particular order in the, in the packet here. And we have got these separate little packets. So they do take a bit more opening rather than being in one large one. I'm going to use this one because it is split and I don't want to lose any diamonds out. So, start with this one. So I'm going to um, start with one packet and see if I could actually get two in. I'm trying to avoid opening um, I'm trying to avoid opening too many packets all at the same time if they don't fit into the storage container. I mean, it looks like I might get maybe two or three in here anyway. Look how well they sit together and they have got a sparkle and I can't see any nibbling out of these either. They are fabulous diamonds. Okay, do you know, I'm going to get three packets in. Okay. 
how many diamonds are in here? We need 413. I think there are 200 diamonds per pack. So we'll definitely have some leftovers in there. Right, number one is 158. I'm going to pause there and put these diamonds in order before I continue the kitting up. Okay, they're roughly in some sort of order now anyway. So 158, we've got loads of packets of these. And put those three off and put these ones aside. That's number one symbol. Lovely. Number two next is 208. So again, put the extras aside. Beautiful colour that is, oh, and that is 208. Lovely. Number three is 322. Again, lots of packets of those. I'll probably be saying that quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> these little packets are quite fiddly aren't they and um, yeah I much prefer the self seal bags that you get with kits than these ones but um, the diamonds are so good that I'll forgive them Beautiful mid blue. Next number four is three two six. my storage book next to me I would be able to tell you the exact name of these colours so once I've got these ones in oh, they're going everywhere with this packet um, yes I made a bit of a mess there <laughs> I think I got a bit excited about my storage book that I have I'll pick those ones up in a second and I'm going to go and get it and I can tell you the colours as well as the numbers people might find that quite interesting. This is the book I use to keep a track of what colours I have in my storage as leftovers. We've just done three, what number was it? 326, which is a very dark rose. And I'm hoping to have some leftovers because I haven't got any of that colour at the moment. So as we go along, I'll be able to tell you the official name of the colours. Next is 327 which is a violet. 
V27. Here it is. Packets to open. Oh, this violet shade. I think I would have said dusky purple, so it's quite nice having the official name in front of me. I don't think I would have called this violet, you know. I always imagine violet as being um, sort of a bluey purple, but. There we are. Let's get that bit of. Okay, violet goes in. Number six is three five two. Where is three five two? Okay, should we have a guess? I'm going to say dark peach. Let's have a look. 352 is light coral. Light coral. All right. Okay. Would I call this light coral? Well, I suppose, yes, it is a coral because coral is a sort of an orangey pink. So, okay. I suppose, because it, it could be quite salmon-y as well, but um, maybe salmon has a bit more pink in it. It does kind of remind me of... Uh, that's salmon-y colour. Anyway, it isn't. It is coral. Number seven, four, five, one. I would call this dark mushroom. <laughs> Let's see what it's really called. Four, five, one. Shell grey. Dark. Dark shell grey. Okay. Seven box. Number eight is six ten. Let's have a look. I would say dark khaki for this. Let's see. Six ten drab brown. Oh dear. Poor six ten drab brown. <laughs> That's a bit unfair, isn't it? I don't even think it looks like a brown. What do you think? Do you think that's a brown? And do you think it's drab? Oh, I feel sorry for that colour now, being classed as drab. That's not fair. Okay, number nine, seven, four, four. Nothing drab about this colour. It's like a buttercup yellow. All right. Seven, four, four. Pale yellow. Okay, we'll give them that one. Pale yellow, pale yellow. <laughs> I 
What I'm noticing about these diamonds is, um, from what I can see, there isn't a lot of junk in these and there's no static either. So again, very impressed with the diamonds in this kit. That's the numbers done. I need to get this storage back to do the letters now. So starting with A, we've got 772. Just going to give you a view of that. I'm just wondering if I can put this book anywhere better. Yeah, unfortunately, the book will have to stay out of shot and I'll have to keep lifting it in for each one. But hopefully you can see the listings for the colours that we're going to. So letter A, 772. We've only got two packets of these ones. And this colour, I would have said pale lime green, and it is yellow green, very light. I don't know if you can see that there. Okay, yellow green, very light. B is 780. It's a brown, let's see. Oh, topaz. Very, oh, is ult very dark? So topaz ultra very dark. Topaz. C, 799, a lovely blue. What's this one called? 799, ooh, Delft blue. Medium, yep, a medium blue. Delft is the pottery, isn't it? That they do the blue and white pottery. I think it's from Holland. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me, but um, I'm sure it's something to do with blue and white pottery. Whether it's from Holland, I don't know. <laughs> right, D is 890. Ooh, very dark forest green, I would call this. Let's have a look at the official name. 890, oh, pistachio green, ultra dark. Pistachio green, mm. very interesting, isn't it? <sighs> Wow, I don't think I've ever seen pistachios this colour before. <laughs> I would say more that colour. When you think of pistachio ice cream. Well. Hands up if you've seen pistachios this colour. <laughs> I'd love to know if you have. <laughs> okay. E is eight nine nine pink. Let's have a look. Eight nine nine. Ah, <laughs> oh, 
rose medium. Okay, we'll go with that, yeah. Medium rose. Oh, I love the smell of roses. Unfortunately, when they started um, developing roses and making them more, it's sturdy is not the word, is it? Hardy, maybe. They seem to breathe the scent out of a lot of roses. But the old fashioned English rose is beautifully perfumed. One of my favorites in the garden. F 900. Ooh, gosh, the colors in this kit are amazing. 900 is burnt orange dark. Okay. Burnt orange dark, all right. Would I call that burnt? Mm. I don't, do you know, burnt to me would indicate brown, wouldn't it, you? Um, I think if this colour was put before me, I don't think I would have called it burnt orange. It's a beautiful colour. Am I being really horrible to the people that I've called all of these, <laughs> all of these colours? What do I know? I'm just, just opinions, just opinions. G is 915. Another pretty. Now, I would call this pinky purple. <laughs> that would be my technique. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, 915 Plum Dark. Okay. Let's open it and get a better look. Oh, it's a gorgeous colour. I think I would have probably said Dark Cerise, you know. Again, I don't think I've seen any plums this colour. <laughs> that I'm admitting to anyway. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right. Gee. In you go, Dark Plum. I am naughty. H938. So let's get back on track and dark brown. That's what I'm going to say this is. Might even be called very dark brown. Let's have a look. 938. Oh, coffee brown. Yes. Ultra dark coffee brown. I agree. Finally. <laughs> this is fun. I hope you're enjoying it as well. I hope you don't think I'm too naughty. <laughs> and disagreeable. I'm really not disagreeable. I just, you know, giving you my opinions. Right. Yep. Dark coffee brown. Perfect. Oh, I could just drink a coffee right now. J939, we all know 939, don't we? I opened this one in the unboxing, so I'm just going to make sure that this one goes in nicely. Take the cellar tape off so it doesn't all stick. And we'll get another two of these. I've got masses of 939, Ugh, loads, absolute loads. So. all of those aside. They've used the 939s as an alternative to 310s in this kit, I think, as the background colour. I really like this colour. It's like a midnight blue. Oh, here I go again. What have they called it? 
939 is officially blue, very dark. Okay, well, I think my description is more um, descriptive. Midnight blue, that's what I'm calling it. Okay, 945. If anybody's watching who actually makes up these names, you know, I'm open to work for you. <laughs> What a lovely job that would be, looking at colours and naming them. Oh, I keep making up these little jobs for myself that I would love to do. <sighs> right. What would we call this one? Ooh. It's, um... Ooh, it's got a pink in it. It's not quite an oyster. Right, let's have a look and see what they called it. 945. Tawny. Okay. Tawny. Mm, all right. Let's move on. <laughs> 986. I've got three separate packets here. 986. I would say dark, bright green. It's too dark to be a grass green. How many do we need of these? 320. Do you know, I'm not going to open that last packet in case I've got, um, in case I don't need to, I can keep that packet closed for my spares box. Right, what was that official name? 986. Forest green, very dark. Okay. N989. So we need 288 of these, so I will have to open both packets for these. A paler green here than the last one. Pop it in the box and we'll have a look at the colour. I would say pale grass green for that one. 989 is, of course, forest green medium. E 3042. How many do we need? 437. Okay, I'll probably have to open all three bags of this dusky um, mid pink. Dusky mid pink, I would call this. It's like one of those vintage colours, isn't it? You know, when you get. Um, all the shabby chic things. It's one of those type. It's probably going to be something to do with violet, but anyway, let's have a look. 3042. 3042, where are you? Antique violet. <gasps> Light. Yes. Antique violet. Yes. I agree, because I said it was vintage. Ah, oh, three, three, two, five. What a beautiful blue. I'm just going to say light blue for this, but it's quite bright actually. Bright pale blue. I hope you're joining in this game at home. <laughs> I hope you're naming the colours and then seeing how close you are. <laughs> It's, I think it's such fun. Right, let's have a look. 3325. Baby blue light. Ah, Can we see that on there? Are we okay? B 
baby blue light. Yeah. S is 3363. Ooh, I've got a self seal bag for these ones. 3363. Again, it's a green. What would I call that? What would you call that? I would call it a dark army green. Should we have a look? 3363. Three. Ah, pine green, medium. Pine green, okay. Yes, yes, okay, fine. I concur, pine. T. Three, six, eight, seven is another pink. Let's dip it out and have a look. Now, I think this pink has a bit of purple in it. It's not a pure pink. It's got a hint of a purpley blue. Right, so I am going to say it's quite rosy, isn't it? Could it be dark rose? Three, six, eight, seven. Three, six, eight, seven. Oh, sorry for the wobble there. Oh. Just catching my book on the camera. Three, six, eight, seven, mauve. Okay, yep, mauve. Mauve does have a purple in it. So I'm just waiting for the camera to stop wobbling. There we are. Yep. Mauve. Mm -hmm. I would say mauve is more purpley, but definitely has some purple in it. There we are. U 3689 Paler Pink See I would call this probably like a ballerina pink but I know that they probably won't have done um, Maybe they called it baby pink it is quite pale but for me it's ballerina colour so you let's have a look three six eight nine I'll try not to hit the camera again this time oh yeah three six eight nine mauve light Whatever. <laughs> I don't agree with that one. The 3705. <laughs> okay, look at this colour. <gasps> oh, that is beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I would call this like a dark coral or even a bright coral. Let's have a look. V3705. Three seven oh five. Melon dark. Melon. Let's have another look. Oh, yes. Yep, that could be a melon, like a watermelon rather than a honeydew. <laughs> Three, seven, two, seven. How many do we need of these? Four, four, four. Okay, I'll open all three. So, again, I think these are the dusky, vintagey type 
you know what I mean? They look quite chalky, don't they? Which is strange when they've got a sparkle to them. It's like the vintage finish on them or something. There isn't a finish on them though. Don't get me wrong, it's just the colour tone. I'm just going to show you. See, they still sparkle, but they've got that undertone of a duskiness to them that I think gives it that chalky. I hope you understand what I mean by that. Um, that is a beautiful colour. What is it called? 3727. 3727 is antique mauve light. There we are. I think I'm quite good at spotting the antique vintage colours. So, why is 3731? How many do we need? 320. So I'm only going to open two of the packets again. And if you haven't had an inventory sheet before, I'm getting that number from here. It's telling me how many diamonds of each colour should be in the diamond painting. So they are really useful things to have. Okay, so this is Y. Oh, we haven't guessed the colour. I think they're going to say that's some sort of melon again, do you? Let's have a little look. Um, 3731 is Dusty Rose. Okay, very dark Dusty Rose. One is Z3747. Again, a very pale blue. Oh, this is a very pretty blue. That is beautiful. I'm going to say very light baby blue on this one. Or even a very, very, because it's got sort of a grey in it. Let's have a look. 3747. Blue violet. Very light. Blue violet. I didn't get any violets in it. Okay. A3770. Now, this is sort of a cream with an orange in it like a very, very, very pale peach. What number was it? 3770. Tawny, very light. Hmm. Tawny? Hmm. You see, I always think of tawnies like browns, like pale browns, if you think of a tawny owl. <laughs> Hmm. Well, yeah, another one I don't agree with, unfortunately. B3772. See, for me, this is more tawny. This brownie colour. Don't you think? Would you call that more tawny? Well, maybe it is. We'll have a look at the description. Hmm. 
What do you think of this diamond quality though? Are you looking at the same time? Because I think these are superb. I have noticed that on some of the colours, they have the dimples at the bottom and these ones don't. Let me see if I can find like that one there, look. Can you see they have the little dimple in the bottom? Whereas these ones don't. So, hmm. just an observation there. Right, D3776. Now, this is kind of, it's either going to be a brownie orange or an orangey brown. <laughs> to me, it's a very, very dark ginger. Well, no, not dark ginger, because thinking about gingerbread men, they can be darker than this, can't they? <laughs> so maybe just ginger. Hmm. Right, let's have a look. D is 3776. I'm probably completely wrong. Uh, mahogany light. <laughs> uh, all right, then. Mahogany colour, everybody. Light. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, they're going everywhere. Oh dear. They're not going in as well. Just pick up these few. I think they got a bit miffed that I was laughing at their name. I'm sorry. E3799. <laughs> 3799, what are these? Whatever they are, they're very dark. Looks like it's got a green tinge to this one. Mm, oh, maybe it's a very dark, dark, dark steel grey. Looking closer, there isn't that much green in it. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> It'll probably be something like dark green. <laughs> no, I've said that. 3799. <laughs> Oh no, phew. Pewter grey, very dark, yes. <laughs> phew, I'm so pleased it didn't have a green in the in the description there. <laughs> F3828. How many do we need? 520, yes, I'll open three. Okay, I think this looks like some sort of sandy brown. Um, wet sand? <laughs> F, let's find out. 3828. 3828. Hazelnut brown? Hazelnut brown. Mm, whatever. They went in really nicely. Right, G, 3854. Right, what colour do you think? It's got an orange to it. But it's, there's something else in the mix. If you think of an orange, it's not just orange, is it? There's something else in it. Can't quite put my finger on this one. Um, 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to say like a light pumpkin. I don't know. I'm shrugging my shoulders. Three, eight, five, four. Let's have a look. Ooh, autumn gold medium. All right. Yeah. Okay. I can go with that. I would have said gold was more yellowy, but no, autumn, that's fine. H is 3865. And this is our last colour. And I always call this an off white when I do um, my videos, an off white. Um, because it's not quite yellowy to make it into cream. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm gonna stay quiet now in case it says cream something or other. <laughs> but it's like a soft winter white, is how I would put it. 3865, let's have a look. <gasps> Ta da! Oh, I'm finishing on a high. Winter white, yes. <laughs> oh, good, I'm pleased that we're in agreement on the final one so that I don't have to leave you with a negative. <laughs> and there we are. We have kitted up all of the Pokemon kit now. Oh, just look. I am spoilt, so spoilt with this kit. It's going to be so beautiful to work on. Can't wait. Well, I hope you've had fun with this kitting up video. It was a little bit different, wasn't it? <laughs> I hope that you subscribe to my channel because I do do things a bit differently, a bit kooky sometimes. But I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy your own diamond painting. Until next time, take care, everyone. Bye.